This is an excerpt of a column written by Ralph McGill, Thursday, August 29, 1963. It was an American show, the one in Washington. Millions saw it. European watched it through television signals bounced from the satellite Telestar. An American audience, estimated at 60 to 80 million, saw parts of it. Persons at coffee breaks, at lunch, and in offices watched the drama of 200,000 or more Negro and white Americans marching orderly in support of the basic principle of their country, equality before the law. It was not a Negro march, but an American one. Many ethnic and religious groups were represented. It was, for Europe and for Americans, conditioned here of late to demonstrations in the form of riots in Africa, in South America, and in Saigon, a lesson in contrast. The 200,000 Americans seeking equality before the law were lawful. America, land of the free. This was the picture that came through. What will the effect be? None, now many say. It was never anticipated the parade for human rights would by itself change anything, but that it will have effect is certain. For millions of Americans, this was their first sight of well-dressed, educated, articulate Negro citizens. This march provided, in a sense, a new image. It was possible to see that they felt that this is their country, too. They have been here a long time. They have come a hard way. They have evolved from slavery to freedom and to constitutional rights. One effect will be to make millions think. The bishops of the Roman Catholic Church, of the U.S. Episcopal Church, and many other Protestant leaders not merely endorsed this demonstration to eliminate unchristian discriminations. They marched, or were represented, in a long parade. Many Christian leaders still lag, but the major leadership is done with hypocrisy and evasion of the issue. Racial prejudice is unchristian. The march will have an effect on Christian conscience. There was one sure effect. We can be proud of our country, its people, our flag, and the quality of our Americanism.